Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kate and I'm here today to do a new workout with you. Today's workout is full body and for the workout we will need a set of light weights and a set of heavy weights. If you have uh, a kettlebell you can use that or if you don't have a kettlebell you can use your weights, doesn't matter. Anyways, before we start, let's warm up. So, place your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart your hands on your hips open up take a deep breath in exhale and round your shoulders inhale pull your shoulders back and down exhale round your back and bring your shoulders forward in and out inhale and exhale keep that belly button pulled in and keep breathing inhale and exhale in and exhale let's do two more Perfect. Now shake it. Let's open up our arms to the side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and cross the arms in front of us. Keep pulling that belly button in. Shoulders back and down. And reach as far back as you can to open up the, and stretch the chest. Let's do two. One. And stop. Perfect. Now forward circles. Staying slightly wider than shoulder width apart, keeping our core braced, glutes engaged, shoulders back and down, drawing wide circles forward. Keep breathing. Do not forget to inhale through a nose, exhale through a mouth. Two, one, stop and switch. Now we are going backward. Drawing wide circles again but drawing uh, in the opposite direction going backward squeezing the shoulder blades as we reach back still keeping the core nice and braced three two one stop and shake perfect now let's rotate from side to side keep the hips nice and stable only rotate the shoulders the torso from side to side inhale exhale <sighs> inhale and exhale pull that belly button in and keep it there engage your glutes <sighs> let's do two more last one perfect and shake it now take a deep breath in place your feet slightly wider just a little bit bend over and try to reach your toes inhale down exhale up keep that core braced reach down come up pull those shoulders back and down keep your chest open inhale down brace the core squeeze the glutes at the top last one on each side and done perfect now bring your feet together balance on one leg bring opposite knee up grab it and pull it up inhale as you grab the knee exhale as you pull also brace the core pull those shoulder blades back and down as you exhale and pull the knee up keep your lower back nice and straight big exhale as you pull the knee up one more perfect nicely done now feet shoulder width apart inhale sit back and down exhale come back up inhale down exhale up four let's do 15 eight more last six four remember about engaging your glutes and bracing the core last one down and up perfect guys now place your feet together hands on your knees let's draw small circles with our knees we are drawing those circles to the right ten times and then stop and switch two one 
Stop and switch. And now going to the left. 10 more times. Six. Four. Keep that core nicely braced. Last two. Pull the belly button in and stop. Perfect, guys. Just like that, we are done with the warm up. Now we are going to pick up one heavy weight and we are going to do 12 reps on each side of the first exercise. We are doing each exercise three more times before we start the next one. So, for the first exercise, I'm gonna use 15 pounds. Beginners, you can use five pounds or eight pounds. We are doing the bringing our feet nice and wide, wider than shoulder width apart, holding the weight in one hand. We are going to turn to the side, get down on one knee, come up and pull that weight up. Inhale as you sit down, exhale as you pull your weight up. Three, do not raise your shoulder. Four, five, six, keep your core braced, torso up, seven, eight, nine, three more, last two, down, up, down, up, perfect, now we are going to switch, beginners, if that's way too much for you, you can stay in a wide stance and just do single arm upright row bringing your weight up and down or you can separate your lunge and the upright row so 12 times on the opposite side sit down keep your torso up come up and pull the weight two inhale down exhale up three four five halfway five left four last three two more last one and nicely done perfect guys now you can take 30 seconds to a minute break if you need to take a sip of water take a sip of water if you need to stretch stretch if you need to take to catch your breath walk around and focus on slow down your breathing i took a sip of water and now i'm ready to start our second set we are repeating every exercise three times so three sets we did first set now we are doing the second one so place your feet wide keep your chest open and up torso nice and tall sit down to the side pop up and pull that weight two three four five halfway five left last four get down exhale up two left one more and put your weight down perfect now quickly catch your breath and switch hands we are doing the same exercise on the opposite side so sitting down on the right leg the right leg is in front the left leg is behind then come back up and pull the weight with your left arm three four five remember to keep your core braced five left pull that belly button in last three last two one more and done perfect guys I'm using 15 pounds because I already did my upper body accessory work this morning so I need to go a little lighter but advanced you know your weight intermediate you can use 12 pounds or 
15 pounds if you are ready for that if not use the weight that is challenging for you meaning that you will do nine reps nice and easy and last three two reps will be super challenging that's the way to grow okay now third set one two three four pull that shoulder blade back six seven four left three two one more and done perfect guys it feels very good okay quick break do not take long breaks nothing more than two minutes 30 seconds to one and a half minutes is more than enough try not to take long breaks between switching sides so you did one side try to go straight to the opposite side or take 30 seconds to catch your breath three four five six seven last four three two one and done perfect guys just like that first exercise is over we have six all together so next exercise we are going to do the complex reverse lunge a lot of movement around if you guys feel uncomfortable beginners you can break it apart or do just a part of the exercise you can use the weight or you can skip the weight you can hold on to something stable like a piece of furniture or a chair or you can challenge your core and try to keep your balance without holding on to anything so this is what we are doing we are going to bring the weight if you use any behind the back keeping our chest nice and open shoulders back and down we are going to stay nice and tall do the step back then open up the knee bring that knee down come back up and kick if you can do one smooth kick from the plie position that's perfect three we are doing 12 on each side four stay low five keep your core braced six five left four left keep your torso up last three last two one more and done perfect okay we did one set on one leg now we need to catch our breath turn around and do the same thing on the opposite side beginners if you are doing reverse lunges without the plie and opening up the knee or the hip i should say then keep doing that Whew. okay now i'm using a set of 15 pounds so 30 pounds all together and it's pretty challenging Whew. i'm gonna turn around and do the same thing 12 reps on the opposite leg okay find the balance let's go reverse lunge plie lunge kick lunge plie lunge kick that's two three four 
fight. Halfway. Five left. Last four. Three. Two more. If you need a second to release the tension, then take a second. Let's go. Finish it. And done. Perfect, guys. First set. All done. Whew. Quads are burning. I'm feeling it. Whew. So now, quickly, catch your breath. And we are going to start second set of this exercise. Whew. Beginners, once again, if you need modification, you can do reverse lunge and kick. You can hold on to something stable. Or you can do reverse lunge to plie, down and up, skipping the kick. So it's up to you how hard you wanna make it. If you want, you can also drop one weight and finish the second and the third round with just one weight instead of two. Okay, let's do it. Second round, second set starts now. Let's go. Reverse lunge, plie. One, two, three, four. Halfway. Five left. Last four. Last three. I need a second. Whew. Okay, three left. Let's finish it. Reverse lunge. Plie. Lunge. Kick. One left, guys. Fight till the end. And done. Perfect. Okay, quick break. Put your weights down. And try to catch your breath. Take a nice deep breath in. Pause for a second. And exhale. Okay, now switching and finishing our second set. Whew, you guys, we are going to do a lot of plie squats and lunges today. So your inner thighs and your legs will hate you, but will get stronger. Let's go. 12 reps. One. your balance and keep your torso upright halfway five left four take a second to catch your breath and release the tension and let's go finish it three two Last one. And done. Ay, ay, ay. I'm already shaking. Whew, we have one more set. A lot of movements around. Twists and turns. And also balancing on one leg. That makes it harder 
So if you absolutely need to, drop the weight, make it easier. Focus on the breathing, on keeping your core nice and strong, nice and braced, and keeping your torso upright. Okay, walk around, take a sip of water, and let's start round number three. The last one Whew, for this exercise. Okay, ready, set, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. If you want to switch after six reps and do six reps on the opposite leg, then you can do that. So we did six. Now I'm gonna switch and do six more on the opposite side just to give my legs a little more time to rest. Whew. Okay, let's go. No long breaks, just switching sides. One, two, And then we're gonna switch again and finish this exercise. Ah, I need a sip of water. Okay, let's do it. Six more. A reverse lunge. We yeah. And kick. Two. Three left on this side. Last two. One more. Perfect. Okay. Now we are going to turn around and finish this exercise the six more reps on the opposite side let's go find your balance first one two three three left two left One more. And done. Yay. Perfect. Two exercises out of six. All finished. So now we are going to take a break. 30 seconds to one minute and a half. Walk around and try to catch your breath. Whew. Next exercise, we are going to stay in the plie position. Beginners, use five pounds or eight pounds the most. Advanced, you can use 20, 25, 30 pounds. It's up to you. You know what? I wanted to remove my gloves, but I realized that we are going to use kettlebell or I'm gonna use kettlebell. You guys can use dumbbell. And my kettlebell is pretty cold since I'm working out outside. Whew, so I'll keep my gloves on. Okay, that was nice break for everyone. Now we are going to get into plie position. Plie meaning feet wider than shoulder width apart, toes and knees pointing for 45 degrees out, keeping our hips tucked under core braced shoulders back and down torso up 
and from here the side view so from here we are going to grab our wig wrap it around our head bring it to the chest press away then switch and press away that's two press away if you are a complete beginner cannot stay in the puya position you can stay up tall keep the, those glutes engaged core braced and just wrap the weight around your head and press it away make sure you're not dropping your or rounding your shoulders the shoulder stays back and down so we are keeping it back and down core braced and we are doing 12 reps total let's go wrap it and press away then switch that's two three four my kettlebell is 24 pounds five and i'm holding it bottoms up six seven keep that weight close to your head we have four reps left three last two one more and done perfect guys just like that we are done with set number one Whew. shake it and catch your breath we are about to start our second round so once again beginners cannot hold the plie stay tall make sure that you're pulling your shoulders back and down and keeping it down okay let's grab the weight and let's start our second round second set wrap it press away switch two One more and done perfect just like that second set is all done quick break stretch massage catch your breath and take a sip of water also focus on your breathing deep breath in small pause and then exhale all the air out of your lungs Whew. we only have one more set and we'll be done with half of the workout it's pretty fast today so if you can slow down and take longer time to complete every exercise meaning you're not rushing through that you're controlling every move it will be better because your time under tension will be longer and you'll see better results so try not to rush through it but really control every move let's do it last set grab your weight stay in the plie and wrap that way around your head four halfway four left last two last one and done oh yeah, yeah. okay that one was challenging but shorter and we are done Whew. now catch your breath we have three exercises left so 
let's come down a little bit now oh. next exercise we are going to stay in the plie and then from the plie position we are going to drop one knee and punch with the same side weight so if you're dropping the right knee you're punching with the right arm for this exercise you'll need light weights i'm using five pounds it's more than enough beginners you can skip the weight and just do the punches we are doing six punches to the left six punches to the right all together 12 reps so bring your weights to your chest get in the plie position and let's do it drop one knee punch turn around punch that's four six eight ten twelve perfect guys just like that first set is done this one is super sore it's super sore yeah Whew, super short cannot even talk anymore but if you stay low you're gonna feel it in your legs and also since we already did the halos with the chest press that work on your shoulders you're gonna feel the punch in your shoulders as well the further away you move the weight from your body the heavier it's gonna feel so even five pounds is more than enough okay let's do second set grab your weights get in the position sit down stay low drop the knee and punch two four six eight two more and done perfect second set all done okay guys set number three the last one let's grab our weights get in a nice wide plie sit low and let's punch two four six eight ten well perfect almost chipped but was able to catch my balance so now we are done with three exercises we have three more we just need to focus and we will finish them fast okay next exercise once again we are doing the reverse lunges so beginners if you need to hold on to something stable you can do that grab one weight we are going to keep the weight on the opposite side of the working leg so the working leg is left we are keeping the weight in the right arm we are going to sit back and down come up and do the biceps curl three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve remember to keep your legs parallel when you're stepping back and descending down your legs are parallel do not keep it in a straight line otherwise it will be harder to keep the balance now catch your breath and switch the working leg is right and the left arm is holding the weight now so find the balance if you need to hold on to something stable take a deep breath in let's go descend down up two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve perfect i'm using 15 pounds beginners you can use five pounds you can also use kettlebell 
if it's easy because kettlebell has handle and it swings very nicely my kettlebell right now is 24 which is a little too much and i just want to use the dumbbell so you can use either one Whew, okay let's start second set left leg is working leg the right one is moving back and forward let's go one two three four five six seven shoulders back and down eight nine ten eleven and twelve perfect guys you can use slightly heavier weight for your biceps curl if you normally curl 12 you can try 15 just because you are moving up and down you're assisting your upper body with that curl so if you want to see if you can use heavier weight then you can try it let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten last two one more and all finished perfect quick break and we are going to start our last set set number three Okay, guys, let's do it. Find the balance and descend back and down, come back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. Whew. Okay, switching one last time, and we are done with four exercises, guys. Getting closer to the end. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, two more, one more, and done. Yay, we are done. Okay, drop that weight. Walk around, or you can get in a resting pose. Rest your hands on your knees. Take a deep breath in. Pause for, for a second and exhale okay let's finish it guys I said we are done with four exercises but actually we are done with five so right now the last one Whew. we need one weight I'm gonna use kettlebell you guys can use dumbbell or kettlebell so we are going to get in the plie and hold our weight in front of us as we descend down we are going to bring the weight up as we come up bring the weight down so we are doing the bicep curl and the plie squat so grab your weight let's go down and up down two three four five halfway remember about your shoulders keep them back and down last three two one and then 
perfect drop the weight if one weight is not enough for you you can always use two weights if the weight that you were using super hard you can drop the weight and make it easier also you can decrease the range of motion do not go all the way down just go halfway down halfway up halfway down halfway up as low as you can range of motion and playing with the weight is the way to modify any exercise so enough talking let's do second set let's go one two three elbows close to your rib cage five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve perfect Whew. get in there finish line guys now we are going to do our last set and we will be done with the entire workout Whew, the sun is gone so it's getting chillier Whew, I want to finish I'm not gonna take long breaks let's go one two three four five six five left four three two one and done Ooh. the my gloves are slippery and my upper body is tired so last three sets were kind of clumsy but we finished it that's it we are done now let's quickly catch our breath and then stretch and that's it so shake it while you're catching your breath take a sip of water if you need to and grab your mat we are going to stretch and pull down so stay on one side of your mat nice and tall shoulders back and down feet shoulder width apart or slightly wider take a deep breath in reach up exhale bend over relax your shoulders back and neck and come back up vertebra by vertebra once again reach up and take a deep breath in exhale and bend over relax the shoulders back and neck now walk your hands forward just a little bit and shift your hips back try to reach the knees with your chest if you need to move further away then you can do that you can also bend your knees but keep your lower back nice and straight push it back perfect from here drop on all fours your hands under your shoulders your knees directly under your hips take a deep breath in exhale and reach under try to place your torso on one shoulder blade if you can open up the second arm to the sky now reset take a deep breath in exhale and reach under perfect come back up bring your torso up stay on your knees make a step forward remember your legs are parallel push your hips forward and down keep your belly nice and engaged hips tucked under 
We are stretching the hip flexor and quadriceps, quadriceps of the back leg. As you exhale, shift your body weight back, keep the front leg nice and straight and try to bring your torso down, relax your torso. Stretching the back side of the front leg now. Perfect. Now grab the front leg, bend it at the knee and sit between the heel and the hip. Try to keep your hips parallel to the ground. If you need to, you can lay down on the knee or you can stay up, keeping your torso up, nice and tall. Perfect. And now let's switch. Get on the opposite knee, make a step forward, push your hips forward and down. Keep your hips tucked under, core braced. Keep breathing. And now as you exhale, shift your body weight back. The front leg is nice and straight. Relax your torso. Try to reach the knee with your chest. Keep your hips and shoulders parallel to the ground. Perfect. Now grab the front leg. Bend it at the knee and sit between the hip and the heel of the front leg. If you need to, you can drop down. Put your torso down on the knee. Otherwise, stay up. Perfect. And now, place your hands just outside of the knee. Put that back leg on your toes. Take a deep breath in as you exhale. Keep, bring your hips up and push yourself back and up. One more time, downward dog. If you need to, you can bend your knees or keep them nice and straight. Get back down on all fours. And just like that, we are done with the cool down and stretching. If you guys have any questions, comments, drop them down below. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, clicking that button uh, above. And you can also go through the list of the workouts that we did before. And I really hope to see you next time. Bye.